Right, here we are on WordPress.org's plugin directory, and like many plugin searches, Facebook like button is no different. It generates about 443 plugins, which is a huge amount. It's very difficult for people to know which plugin uh, best suits their needs. So hopefully this video will demonstrate what different plugins do, and you'll be able to pick out which situation you're probably in and which plugin will suit you best. So let's start having a look, and let's go straight to Facebook itself. So they have a little generator here. This address, developers.facebook.com, etc., is going to be below the video. So what you want to do is just throw in your site link to a specific page. As you can see, up it pops. You can alter the button. Do you want it this way? Do you want it that way? Depending on the layout. Do you want the, to show faces or not? It's up to you. Face, no face. Believe, most people leave the faces. Do you want to like or recommend? These sort of things, light or dark. That's what the dark looks like, it's like so. And keep it as light. And you can, of course, change the font. Now, you get the code. It says OK because it means you have to. HTTP. Boom, boom. Do it again. Get the code. There it is. Now, you have to paste that in and paste the other one in. Paste that into the, to the page, and then that where you, the lower one, where you want the plugin to actually show, which can be time consuming if you have to do this for every page. It's not the ideal situation. But you can put this in the actual theme file, which is a whole other world of hurt. It's fairly simple to do, but can take a little bit of time, and you have to do it absolutely right. If you're not happy dealing with code, following exact steps, I'd recommend you just use a plugin. It's a lot of plugins that do the same function, a lot simpler if you're not happy messing around with the code. So let's have a look at those now. Okay, so the first Facebook plugin we're going to look at is simply called Like. Great stuff. And as you can see, it boasts a lot of the functions that the Facebook like generator that we looked at a moment ago does, and it also does a huge amount of languages. Note also, four stars out of 68 ratings, not definitive, but that's usually a good hint of how it's going to look. Now, how does it look on the page? This is our own blog here at selfassemblysites.com, and this is a recent post here. And as you can see, that's how it looks at the top of the text. Very simple. One of, uh, well, there's my work colleague, Alistair Dermot. Seven others like this. Great stuff. And then it appears at the bottom as well. So it's sort of sandwiched between. So uh, you can click it the minute you get to the page. And then you can have it appear at the bottom as well. Now, it's very simple, as you can see. Very unobtrusive. So that might be the answer if you don't want anything too mad or distracting. Okay, the other benefit to mention about the actual like plugin appearing on the page is it appears on every page, not just uh, each one at a time like you'd have to do with the Facebook generated code. So that's a huge benefit right there. Let's look at the back end for a moment. And here we have a page, again, that's quite similar to the Facebook generator for like buttons itself. So as you see, you can set the width, you can height, you can change the layout to the three standard sizes. Now, what is particularly useful here is you can choose how to align it, left or right. But here's the one, top, bottom, or you can only have it, if you wish, you can change it so that it's only, for example, on your blog and not on your pages, or on your pages and not on your posts, and so on and so forth. You can show it in search and not, and you can change the borders. So that this is perfect if you want a very simple plugin with a limited number of features, but that does the simple things very well. Now, another successful Facebook like button is called just that Facebook like button. And when you go to its plugin page here on WordPress.org, uh, under screenshots, it doesn't have any. It asks you to go to the site, but it's probably a good sign that they have an entire site just for this plugin. So we go to the site. And as you can see, it's quite impressive. This is the plugin here, this blue line along the bottom of the page. And as you can see, as you scroll up and down, it stays stationary in the same spot the whole time. That's pretty cool. And this little thing explains all the different options you can have with search available, with fan pages, adding Twitter. So it allows a much wider scope of social media options. Now, I was going to do that in another video, which will be coming soon. For today, we're just talking about Facebook, really. But as it's a Facebook plugin, it's worth noting, because if you want a huge array of, of options, this, is, this could be for you. But as you see, you can select language, you can put in recent posts from your blog, you can even have the weather and the temperature here. 
which is crazy. And it, as you see, you can have uh, online chat as well. So there's a huge amount of options. Now, this is an extreme case for me. For me, this would be the opposite end of the plugin, the like simple like plugin that we looked at a minute ago, which was extremely simple. This is extremely busy and it asks for a huge amount of information out of you. So if you don't have a Twitter stream, if you don't have podcasts, if you don't have loads of other things to populate this bar, then it could look quite vacant and silly and just not look really particularly cool. Whereas if you have a lot of that stuff going on, maybe it's a neat way to have it. From personal experience, we tried it on our site for a while and it just made the pages look a bit too busy. But might suit you, might suit your pages as well. So if you think it's for you, give it a go because it looks pretty impressive stuff. Just something to note, the Facebook like button, which we were looking at here, in the back end, if you're in a hurry and you don't want hassle, there are quite a few steps in setting those up more than a regular plugin. See, as you can see here, you have to actually register your widget uh, with the website itself and then paste in a code. Now, it's not that complicated, but some people are very nervous or concerned about having to sign up to different websites and maybe they don't know them very well. As you see, you have to verify your email address when registering and all these other little things now. And as you say, you get granted a password. Now, a lot of people uh, don't mind that at all and it doesn't actually take that long but it is a few steps more hassle than most plugins require of you so it's just another thing to be aware of and here are our options very good you can see i can just paste in here facebook.com slash self assembly sites uh, it asks for your facebook id there it is display the buttons my page and like that's fine and custom Facebook image, no, uh, standard is fine, and that is what will come up. Now, do we want to put it before and after, for, after, for, and after, or short code? Now, if you want the short code option, it means it'll only come up when you put in the short code. So that's if you're only going to use it on a couple of pages rather than wanting it on every page. Now, a lot of people choose the before and after because it means when people start reading it, they can click like or share, or they can click the Facebook button when they reach the end of the article. So only then some people have decided to actually share your article or your post. So now we're going to click to save changes. How it looks on the actual page and just visit the site and as you can see it's here Facebook my page and the like button beside it. so that's the share and that's the like the article itself right and as you can see it's also of course at the bottom of the post as well so it's sort of sandwiched between them which is a nice effect so it's again a little bit better than the Facebook like button we looked at the start and as you can remember, it does also have a send button option, but it looks pretty much exactly the same as the like, which is why I left it out. But the benefit of this one is that it does have the name of people you know who have liked this as well. And that social proof might be very important to people. But if you wanted to stand out maybe a little bit better, I'd argue that this would probably be the choice. So for me, it's really between those two, depending on what you need for the look of your site and how you feel it'll gel with the rest of your posts and your pages. But if you feel that you have enough content to merit having the bar along here, maybe this is the way to go. But this is just one option of many for having multiple options for social media sharing buttons through WordPress plugins. So that'll, that's really for a later video. I'll go into much greater details about that. But for the minute, if you think you can populate this and it doesn't make your pages look too busy, go for it. If you think maybe something as subtle as that will suit you with a little bit of social proof, go for the simple like button. But if you think that the simple my page and like is for you, so that's very handy if you want something very quick and easy. The Facebook like button plugin is probably the easiest way to go. I hope that was helpful for you. And please do feel free to leave some comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.